Anyways, let's go back to our uh, tower over here and... You know what, let's get the gravitation potion thing. Let's go actually... Oh yeah, because it's just a floating tower, we can just get rid of these now. Yeah, there you go. Now we can actually go to the other side, so that's good. Kill these meteor head things, there you go. And I guess we'll do the uh, gravitation... So there it is right there, three minute cooldown. Control gravity, so how's this work? So can I just float wherever I want without a... Uh... Oh my god, another wyvern, what? Man, it is so dark right now, I can't even see- Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. There it is. Oh, I'm shooting at it, I'm shooting at it. Doing some okay damage to it, which is good. Oh, it's doing some good damage to us, though. We need to walk- Whoa, what in the world happened there? Oh my god, gravity changed! That's what happened there. Whoa! Hold on, how do I change it? I don't know, but I'm falling in the sky right now, I think. Am I falling? Hold on. Oh, you hit up, and you change gravity! Ooh! Okay, I'm going... Into orbit. Oh my god, what happened? Wait, was that a good thing or a bad thing? Am I landing on the ground now? Oh, I am. Okay. Hold on. So now we got the gravity potion thing. So that's good. Oh, there's another uh, thing right there. Okay. But I guess we could use this. Yeah, just switch between it. Oh my god, this is disorienting as heck. Switch between these different, like, gravity modes or whatever. Oh my god. And then, uh, hopefully we'll be able to find a Sky City thing this way, maybe? I don't know. Maybe. Oh my god, I don't even know which way- which way am I even facing right now? Because I don't want the Into Orbit thing to happen again. Oh, there's the Wyvern, there it is right there, hold on. Oh, man, that did a lot of damage to us, I think. Oh, two more minutes of the gravity. Oh, hold on, did I hit the edge of the world? I think I did. No, 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 Sky City here, I suppose. Man! That sucks. Alright, I'm getting the repeater back out. Oh, how do I do it? Here, here it is, here it is, here it is. Keep shooting it. Kill the heckin' wyvern. Am I heading down? Oh, I am. Okay, let's keep going. Let's go up, then. Wait, no. This way. No, this way. Wait, hold on. Wait, how's it? Wait, what? I'm so confused, especially because nighttime right now. <laughs> oh, we got the wyvern going over there. Which way am I heading? Am I heading into this? Oh, I think I was heading into the sky right there. Okay. And there's a soul of flight right there. I, I might as well grab that while I can, right? Uh, boom. Nice. Oh my god, there's stuff over there. Harpies. We need to watch out. Okay. Now we're upside down, I think. Yep. And now we're right side up. Okay. We're really gonna find a sky- I don't know how high up in the sky these things apparently are. We've got like three gravity potions. We got 37 seconds of this until it runs out, I think. Oh, come on, come on. I'm, I'm still just going left to right, right to left. I'm going- I'm going up some more. Okay. Now we're upside down. Falling into the sky. <laughs> and I can do another health potion right now. Boom. There you go. Just kind of help us out. I don't know where I- I'm, I think I'm zoomed out all the way. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, another wyvern. Okay. Man! Take a lot of damage here. We need to watch out. Make sure we don't like and die out here. Man, I am so disoriented right now. Like... If it wasn't nighttime, maybe it'd be a little bit easier to tell <laughs> what's happening, but... I feel like I'm way too high up for these, uh, like, these sky cities have got to be, like, below me or something, right? Try and kill the wyvern. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Got it! Nice! Oh, I can't change gravity anymore, man! Ah, it's soul of whatever is probably stuck up there. Man, how high are we? I feel like we're, like, extremely high. Oh, God! Yeah, I think we're... I think we passed over all of it. <laughs> like, look at that. Oh, yeah, there's got to be something here! Like, look at that. We were at the top of the heck and like, limit or whatever there. Oh, God. We're at 20-something health right now. Sheesh. I'm going home. Golly. Yeah, I, I could use another gra- Okay, I, I thought something bad happened again, but Sparkle and Red- Wait, what? how are they throwing a party? I guess Redbeard came from the ocean all the way over to here to throw a party with Sparkle. That's kind of weird. But hey, you know what? I guess I'll talk to you. Party's up. Uh, party up. I thought she said party's up because I arrived, right? <laughs> You're like in charge of the cake, Pancake. Oh, man. Is it? That was an unintentional I don't know if that was intentional or what. <laughs> but hey, that's a pretty good uh, little rhyme right there. Don't mind if I do grab that cake. I'm like, I have that cake from last time, so uh, can't wear the hat. Sorry, I'm here for the party. Uh, no worries. What's uh, Grover? Eh, literally silver from you. Can't explain, I suppose. What about uh, Amy? Always buy more wire than you need. Yeah, I'm still not really crazy about all that stuff, honestly. But yeah, we have multiple uh, gravity potions, I think, right? So we should be able to, uh, just finish my new creation. This version doesn't explode violently if you breathe on it too hard. <laughs> but I, I think we have multiple gravity potions, right? What was a purple? Potion of return teleports you home and creates a portal. Yeah, I, I think I remember reading about that. 
Oh yeah, we have a lot of them actually. Controls of gravity. Yeah, now it's actually turning to daytime. You know what? Maybe I'll get like two of them right now. Let's continue looking for the uh whatever you call it. Teleportation potions, spelunker potion. Yeah, you know what? Um I'm gonna favorite these real quick just so they don't tell her up. It's just so they don't teleport away, right? And is there anything else? Oh yeah, she gave me another slice of cake right there. I guess I put it up in structures. <laughs> I'm like it kind of is one, right? At least right now. And uh quick stack. There you go. Nice. Oh, what is this? Ooh, a feather. It's a material probably from the harpy. Where is, uh, what's his name now? Colin. What do you have to say about a feather? He... Oh, feather fall. What? Uh, you just make potions. Angel wings. We warn of energy's lines allows flight and slow fall. But how's that compared to demon wings? <laughs> soul of flight and soul of night. Whoa. Oh, I thought, oh, jeez, I thought something else happened. We might be able to make the angel wings. Now, how does those compare to our leaf wings? Um, they're worse, I think. No, I think they're on par. Yeah, I think they're on par. Yeah, you can craft these, and they have the same time, the same height, the same horizontal speed, I guess you can call it, and the same volt vertical multiplier as the leaf wings, so I guess it's not really worth it to make the uh, either the angel wings or the demon wing, because they're both the same, at least statistically, right? Just cosmetically, they look a little bit different, so that sucks. So other things is uh, gravitation potion and the feather fall potion, so... Man, how did we get something else out of that, but I guess... I guess it's not too terrible, I suppose. Maybe that would have come into play a little bit uh, earlier on in the series, but hey, for right now, uh, we have... Uh, we have, yeah, this whole area right... Well, yeah, above us right here, but this whole area over here, too, look for some sky cities. So let's go do that, you guys. Yeah, look at all the balloons in the background. <laughs> get a uh, gravitation potion. Uh, wait, what happened there? Oh, there it is, right there in the inventory. I guess it didn't consume it. Boom, there we go. I hit the wrong button, I suppose. But uh, there you go. Let's zoom out. And, oh yeah, uh, I could do this, right? Oh, whoa, whoa, I think I found one right there. Oh, we found, yeah, oh my god, was there a sky thing above our heckin' house this whole time? Hold on, how do I do it again? There you go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh my god. I think there was. What in the, you kidding me? So someone, I remember shooting a flare in the sky. Someone said, oh, if the flare comes down, there's a sky. I think they were right. Look at this. This whole time, there's a heckin' sky city above our heckin' base. Our spawn area. And I'm, yeah, I'm getting a lot of feathers from these harpies, just like I assume would happen. Man! Well, I don't want this to go to waste, so you know what? We, we could explore this. And, uh, is there a chest? Is that a chest? Zealous Star Fury! Danger Sense Potion, Recall Potion, Silver Coin, I'll grab those. I don't know what these, these blocks over here are, is that Cobalt? I don't know. But, you know what? Uh... What are those things? All those harpies look like, like a human head. With like wing and it's like a bird, like a weird like hybrid or something crazy. I'm going to continue to explore around. So I, now I know the actual like, oh god, a wyvern. Now I know the actual like axis that these things spawn at. So, uh, oh my god, another one. What? And I could heck and <laughs> I could uh, latch onto them too. That's funny. I like that. But we found another one right here, and of course we could uh, boom, hit that thing right there. Hit it with a Peter a few times. Here we go, perfect. Oh well, there's nothing on this one. It's just like a weird floating like ocean. I guess it's a cloud that has water in it, and it's like liquefied water, which is funny. Let's kill this wyvern here. Hopefully the stuff drops, and we get another soul of flights that are easily accessible. And come on, come on! Man, only one more, and it's down, I'm sure. There we go, got it! Another soul of flight right there, perfect. Whoa. Wait, why is it- Oh, it's, it's getting dark because of how uh, high up in the atmosphere we are. But here we are right here, you guys. Oh my gosh. Let's keep going, let's keep going. This away. Yeah, we're like in space, which makes sense for me, right? I'm like, I am a space person, right? But uh, yeah, I can see, yeah, you can see the minimap on the right, and uh, I'm want to go back up. Keep exploring here. I think we're too high up, though, so we need to go down. Yes, about right here, and then let's go to this way now. Oh my god, I, I should have had this minimap open on the right side this whole time. And uh, we could do this, go up a little bit, see if there's another one like right here. I doubt there is, but hey, at least I'm going to be clearing out my whole map here. I'm not going to have, like, any mystery fog whatsoever. And yeah, now we're back to this. Right here, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, at least we're discovering all this. Probably going to have a couple black pixels here and there, but nothing too crazy. Let's keep going this way, and discover those black pixels. And let's discover those black pixels down here as well. Uh, ba-boom. Oh man, it, uh, it ends in like seven seconds, but we do have another potion here in just a moment. Uh, now we're above the desert where whatever their names were. Now, does it automatically flip back? Oh, it does automatically flip back. Man! Alright, well, let's just glide with our wings here. 
Hopefully we're still high up enough to, uh... Oh, it just... It meets up to where we were earlier, I think. Uh... Almost. Well, let's get another gravity potion. So, uh, boom. There you go. And, uh, let's go back into the sky, shall we? So, uh, there you go. Flip that upside down. Let's discover what's beyond this mystery fog. Now, I'm not finding another... I'm probably speaking way too soon, but I haven't seen another wyvern for a little while now, which is good, because... I don't want to heck take on another one Wyvern just yet. Just want to peacefully explore all of these uh potential sky fortress, sky city areas here. Alright, they got cleared out the left side now. Yep, pretty much cleared out the left side. Man, we're clearing out a lot of the skies here, you guys. Nice. I think I'm gonna continue uh cleaning out the whole entire map here and seeing where the sky cities actually are while I still have the uh the gravity because I've got like eight more of them back home or something crazy, right? So might as well use them, clear out the whole entire skies, figure out where everything is. And I'll see you guys here in just a bit where our skies are hopefully going to be nice and clear. And we'll uh, adventure around those sky cities a little bit more in depth, hopefully. So I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Alright, got you guys. Just got another notification saying it's going to be like a terrible night again. Okay, let's, let's go over here. I just got sharpening on my sword. Let's go to the boss, boss battle arena. I forget which one. I think this one is... I think this is the I one, the twins? I think so. All right, well, oh, 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 yep, there they are right there. There they are right there. The twins have awoken. All right, let's try and aim down one specifically. But it's kind of hard. Oh, you know what, you know what? Yeah, it seems like the, they, they kind of follow you. It's kind of creepy to say, but at the same time, oh, uh, you know what, you know what, bee gun? I guess I can get this out. Taking a little bit of damage from the bee gun, but, or uh, from the, from the eyes, but at least the bee gun's hopefully doing some damage to them. So there you go. And then uh, we can get the repeater back out and hopefully keep poking these guys in the eye. <laughs> there you go. Not a little bit on health right now, unfortunately, but trying to do as much damage as I can. And then, of course, aim up and then aim down and take a little bit of time for the repeater. Unfortunately, oh, you know what? Uh, man, I don't know. I was about to say I, I could go, go get one of the guns or something like that. And you oh, man, I died. Man, I wasn't paying attention to my health right there, man. Yeah, we still only did a small little chunk of damage right there. Sheesh. And now it's gone. <laughs> Man. Yeah, we sh we definitely could have used that gun. I even said, yeah, it's probably going to be good for a boss battle. Man. Uh, unfortunately, it's not I, I think Even though we're really close to our, uh, where we just were, I think it despawns when you die anyway. So I guess I don't see anything at the bottom of the screen right now, unfortunately. Where would it be? Weapons? I think so. Where was it? It was over here. Not, not mini shark. It was a different thing. There it is right there. Gatligator. I think that was it right there. And, uh, ammo. I think we had, uh, meteor shot. Yeah, we have meteor shots here. I don't, th I don't think it's over there, but I guess we can go check real quick. We have the Gatligator, which I guess I could use, and of course it's not very accurate. <laughs> but, uh, over here at the boss arena is where it was, or whatever. Yeah, it's gone. It flowed, like, up into the sky and stuff like that. Which, speaking of such, yeah, I actually ended up, uh, exploring all throughout the sky. And now all the islands are discovered now. There's a little bit over here I haven't discovered yet, unfortunately, but it's not that big of a deal. We have one, of course, like right above our Ekin base, which is really good. Found this one on camera as well. Then over here, there's one. There's another one right here, which has a Skyward chest. Might want to go see what's inside there. Another one right there. Another one right there, Skyward chest. There's not another one over there. So there's a few of them over there, you guys. I don't know how we're going to get over there without another gravitation potion. So you might want to get one. Uh, oh, man. Actually, now that I think about it. Hold on. I may oh man, there's a ghost right there. What? How's there a ghost? There was only just one uh, grave. I have no idea, but there you go. Kill this guy. The armored guy got him. Nice. Yeah, the armor penetration without even having the uh, the sharpening thing is really, really good. I want to know if we could actually uh, go from the top of our base. Now it's actually been built up a little bit, so we're up a little bit more in the sky. Might be able to just... Can I fly up there? Uh, I think I'm still far away from it. Hold on. What if I just go straight up, like, from right here? What if I, uh, zoom out? Mmm, I didn't see it right there. What if I get the, uh, the thing? Hold on. This? Oh, yeah, it didn't help out at all. Yeah, I guess if I want to go up there, I could get the gravity potion. And then, uh, oh, man, going from there to there actually would be really easy. And then, of course, from there, yeah, we've already been to the one that's, like, right above our base. Might as well go to this one over here and see what's inside of the chest. Oh, yeah, by the way, we got a sword from that, uh... Oh, yeah, let's kill this thing. Yeah, I should have got the sharpening thing there just to, you know, just to help us out a little bit because this only does armor penetration of, like, five or something like that, but... Oh, I even saw the bees that spawned in right there because we took a little bit of damage. <laughs> but, yeah, at the top of this... No, at the top of the other one, yeah. At the, uh, whoops. At the top of the... Man! At the top of the other mountain, we're gonna be able to jump and hopefully 
Oh god, can I even, uh... Yeah, we have to get off of your unicorn for this one. So yeah, let's go over here. Go to unicorn. Is it right here? Yeah, we might be able to fly over to it, you guys. Oh, jeez, yep, there it is right there. Holy heck. <laughs> Man, now we get the harpies and stuff over here. Hopefully we can kill them. There you go, got that one down. Yeah, from here we have to go a little bit more to the right. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to make it all the way over there. Kind of want to go, let's, let's go up to these clouds here. This might be a better spot. Let's, let's uh, go up into the sky and let's just fly. Then we'll glide down a little. Did I hit the top of the world right there? I think I did. Oh, here we go. Nice. There's the fallen star right there. Let's see what's inside this place. Where's the entrance at? It's on this side. All right. I mean, what are these trees here? I can't really tell, but it's nighttime, but it looks like it's like autumn or something like that over here. Violent, shiny red balloon equipment one can be used in January. Increases jump height. Ooh. That seems like it's going to be really good for us, you guys. I wasn't. Can I see the vanity slot of the balloon? Oh, you can actually, you can barely see the balloon. You guys probably see that a little bit easier a little bit later on, but, uh, quick stinger necklace. Ah, uh, maybe I'll replace it right there just so we jump up a little bit higher there. What else do we get? Bombs, iron bars, wooden arrows, and archery, lesser healing potion. Yeah, I guess we'll loot all that right there. Nice. All right, well, let's see. How much higher do we jump up in the sky with a balloon than our hand? <laughs> yeah, we actually hit the actual straight up top of the map right there. What? Hold on. What was this? Okay, let's, let's go over here. Go to the top of the map and let's let, let's glide down. Hold on, this way. Yeah, you can see it now. I uh, don't know if we're going to make it there. Oh god, we got a wyvern right there. Man, ah, we're getting hit by it. Golly, I think we're going to hit the other island. I might have to jump up in the sky a second time, unfortunately. Oh, oh hold on, hold on. There we go. We did it. Whew, that was crazy. Man, I did a lot of damage to that wyvern right there. Holy heck. Let's do another nice, pretty good amount of damage right there as well. And it's already down to like half health. I need to get a healing potion myself. Nice. And come on, come on. There it is, there it is. Oh my god, look at all that damage we do. The spinning, the spinning mode of this, 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 this. Sudden Fury is amazing. Oh, another. How did that armored guy get up here? What? <laughs> That's so crazy. Kill the harpy. There you go, got it. Is there a chest in here? There is. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, Skyward It just looks, it just physically looks weird. It looks like a weird knapsack or something like that. Warding shiny red. Yeah, what do we have right now? What is the, uh, melee speed? This one's for defense. Maybe I'll wear this one, honestly, just to help us out a little bit. Boom, there he goes with a 40. Angel statue rope. Uh, what's this thing? Sky mill could be used for special crafting, probably for like sky stuff made out of like clouds. I bet. Uh, then angel statue, we could drop that and we'll pick it up inside the void vault. And same thing with here. And then we'll break the actual box itself because that looks kind of cool. No, I'll take the table and the, the chairs and the... I'll take the, the banners and stuff too. Nice. And there's another banner right there, I'll take. No matter what I do. Is there a, I think there's another one over here, isn't there? Yeah, there's another one right there. Uh, I think we might be able to get to it ourselves without even needing to, like, glide over there. Especially with this, like, balloon that we have right now. Oh, I want to go talk to, uh, Colin. See what he has to say about the balloon, but, uh... Let's see. Yeah, we're not going to be able to make it over there, so let's just, uh, let's just fall down to the ground. Uh, there you go, summon in our unicorn. And I don't know where we're going to have to jump here. At the top of this? Uh, probably. Mmm, I don't know, bro, meh. I'm like, we'll be high up a little bit. Oh man, I can't, uh, can't use my unicorn as like a, a jumping or a starting point or whatever. Man. All right, well, I might be able to go up here with my balloon. Uh, oh no! Man, I might have been able to do that. <laughs> I don't think I have a gravity potion on my- Oh, by the way, uh, I was in the mines and stuff like that, digging down and stuff like that. And I got like a Medusa head, but it's like a weapon. I want to look at it again here in just a sec. Hold on, kill that mini-eyed Cthulhu. Uh, I oh, still killing stuff over there. Whatever. 24 ma- or 42 magic damage. Very fast speed. Very weak knockback. Use 15 mana. I want to see what that actually does. Hold on. Wait, what? Wait, what does it do? 42 magic damage. Very fast speed. I'm just holding up, like, the Medusa head. Oh, I think it's- it might turn creatures. I might have to have creatures nearby and it'll, like, turn them into stuff. Hold on, hold on. As long as my imp doesn't kill anything, right? Sheesh. Just want to see what this actually does. 42 magic damage? Uh... I don't want to go into a dungeon, although that'd be a great place to go test this thing out at, you know? Just because there's going to be a ton of critters in there, you know? But... I'm not seeing, like, anything over here. And it just turned to daytime, too, so... It's not like there's going to be any zombies or anything like that around here anymore. Man! Oh, wait, hold on, there's something behind us, but... Man, the imp... I don't think I can despawn the imp. Yeah, look at that, he just kills anything and everything! I was probably just a slime or something like that, but... I just want to test out the second thing. Man. All right, well, yeah, see, like, there's, like, slimes and stuff. Oh, nice. Oh, whoa, is it, like, an, a big aura? I think it's, like, a big aura. Kind of reminds me of the, uh, the flower girl's attack. 
the uh what is it i forgot her actual name but i keep calling it fly you guys know what i mean by now all right i guess we will go into the dungeon just to test it out a little bit you know and i'll, I'll like teleport home just because i don't want to spend too much time in this dungeon but i kind of want to see does it actually do like an aoe sort of magic thing where it like does 42 damage to a critter if it's like near me that seems like that's the case so so let's go down here and wait for some critters to start spawning in and see how effective this new Medusa head actually is. I think I even got it from a Medusa as well because I was fighting a Medusa. Oh, there we go. Yeah, look at that. It was like shiny on the guy. Whoa, did it actually turn him into stone or anything like that? I don't know if we want to find anything down here that's powerful enough to survive the imp and actually be able to be attacked by the Medusa head itself. But oh, there's like a switch right there. Like, here we go. Yeah, that guy's like really, really weak. Maybe I'll leave my game, come back and... Oh, here we go, here we go. Here's a few guys. Yeah, it does, uh... 150th Dark Caster, nice. Oh, oh, there's a skull. Yeah, yeah they, have to, they have to get a little bit closer to me. Which is good. Yeah, it does, like, 42 damage, like, every half second or something like that, if I had to guess. And, uh, there's that guy, and you can see it's shiny on him. And I think it was... Hold on. There you go. Did it light him on fire? No, I think that was my imp. Uh, it's not doing it to that guy, though. He must be impervious or something. Picking up some bones and stuff, though. Let's see. Oh, I must. Oh, I must have ran out of. Yeah, I, I think I ran out of magic there. So that, that's probably what happened there. You wasn't taking any damage because I didn't have ma any magic. Here's a couple guys right here and a lot of guys down here. Nice. See how good this is going to be against them. Let's go. Boom. Using up the magic. Boom. Just killed all of them. I think. I think that's what happened. Hold on. Here's a couple guys. Boom. Killed them. There's a skull right there. I don't think it's going to be effective against that thing. Yeah, I guess it's not technically like a critter. Or maybe it was in the walls. That's why it wasn't being affected. Perhaps. Oh, here's a few uh, dungeon slimes down there. A few dungeon slimes. Let's go down there and hopefully get them killed with a Medusa slime or a Medusa, <laughs> Medusa head. There you go. Man, I I feel like this thing could be pretty effective. It's just that my imp is also doing a lot of damage in the background, so I don't, I don't know if it's like him or if it's my actual Medusa head itself that's doing all the damage. I have no real idea how to out isolate it that way, right? But uh, here we go. Here we go. I don't know. Like I'm shiny right now, and I, I do need to keep an eye on my uh, use 15 mana. It's hard to say, but yeah, they do get close to me and then they just die. And then when these guys aren't like in the walls, yeah, they do take damage and they took an 88 right there. So I think he took a crit from that, perhaps. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, I guess we'll just go home now. So, boom, there you go. I don't know what to do with the uh, Medusa head itself, though. It seems like something I could actually like equip like over here. Wait, no. Oh, I was looking at the speed. Yeah, it, it's not it's not a thing you get equip over here. It's it's speed is means. Yeah, it's already a very fast speed. It's plus five percent speed with the uh because that's like a the weapon multiplier uh whatever you want to call it there <laughs> anyways let's go over here let's put up all the potions and other random trash teleportation to potion yeah i forgot to use that whoops and then we have another balloon oh yeah i, I did want to talk to colin about the balloon so i suppose uh wherever he is i can talk to him here in just a moment we have so many accessories on us right now you guys kind of crazy where's he at is he dead oh yeah did yeah colin died didn't he yeah because we oh who's this no wait no uh I forgot who the guy was earlier, but yeah, I guess he died and then became Colin after we did the wall flesh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting about that. <laughs> I do want to talk to him about, yeah, yeah, place material here. Where's the balloon? There it is right there. Balloon. What does he have to say about this? Honey balloon. Increases jump height and releases bees when damaged. That's when you combine it together. Oh, yeah, I think I saw that. Fart in a jump. <laughs> oh, allows the holder to double jump. Fart in a balloon uh, allows me to double jump and increased height, which is actually pretty good. And then uh, allows me to double jump and increased height. Sandstorm. So the sandstorm and the fart in a jar do the same thing. What about uh, the blizzard in a bottle? Wait, hold on. I think I have that. Cloud in a balloon. Well, it was a double jump. I think I have the uh, the blizzard in a balloon. I might be or a uh, blizzard in a jar. I, don't, I, I think I got that off camera, but let's see where is it? Tsunami in a bottle. I think I had a yeah. There it is right there. Blizzard in a bottle. I can combine it together with uh, the other balloon that we don't have. I guess, uh, I'll have a double jump and the balloon, like the higher, I don't know if it's stack in the sense that, uh, like we'd be, we'd be able to go to those, those sky cities any easier, maybe. I don't know. E Ecor Dart. Oh yeah, I picked up the, yeah, these things right here, the Blood of Gods. I guess I'll talk to, uh, whoever about that. I forgot what dropped him. I think it was something in the underworld or in the, uh, Crimson or something. I forget, but where'd he go? Oh, there he is right there. See what it has to say about the Ecor stuff. Ecor torch, living Ecor block, flask of Ecor, Ecor arrow, 70, sheesh. So just combine one of them with 150 wooden arrows, you get uh, 17 range damage instead of 13 from the Heckvar. Whew. What about this Ecor bullet? 
golden shower. Wait, oh, I got killed by one of these things. Off camera. It said you got killed by a golden shower, and I was like, that's a good meme. And then I remember someone said, hey, you need to get one of those. Very fast speed. How do I do that? Just a book? No, spell tome. I don't know if we have any of those. And then soul of night. We might be able to make one if we have, uh, I, I, I don't know if I have any Igor. Oh no, yeah, that's all of them we have is just 11 right there. We need 20. And then I need to get us. I don't even know what a spell tone, like where to get that. If I have any, uh, hopefully I didn't sell any. Think it was just a book. Oh, there's a shark fin right there. I, I know we needed a shark fin for something, but I guess we'll put those up in there. Yeah, we have a good amount of silt now, which is good. Uh, I suppose we'll put up the ammo over here just because we're not doing that ba boss battle right now, right? And we're probably going to do one uh, for a little while. But let's go combine together the, uh, how do, where do we do that though? The balloon and stuff. Let me let me go check. Tinkerer's workshop. I thought it was uh I thought I already had that. Oh, there it is right there. I guess I didn't see it, maybe. I don't know. But let's make the blizzard in a balloon. That allows me to double jump and has increased height. So I guess I'll get that. Blizzard in a balloon. So we'll put that over there. There you go. I still have the other balloon right there that has four defense. Yeah. So there's this. Then if I double jump. Um, well, the double jump bit. Kinda helps a little bit, but it doesn't, uh... Isn't, isn't as helpful as I thought it was. I thought it was going to, like, double our, our wingspan, or, uh... Oh, there's a wyvern in the background. Do you guys see that thing right there? I thought it was going to, like, double our wing, like, like, our flying length, I guess you'd call it, so... That kind of sucks that's not the case, but I, I guess it makes sense why it's not the case. <laughs> but we may be actually be able to go to that other island, though. Nah, not that one. We were already at that one. That one right there. I'm able to go to that one, to be quite honest. Maybe I'll go teleport to the ocean uh, platform and just go left a little bit because I feel like it's going to be a little bit easier that way. So let's go do that and see if we can actually reach that uh, that 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 flying city or whatever it's called. Oh, oh, I saw it there for a second. Man, I don't know if I'll be able to reach it from here. Yeah, I might be able to do it. Hold on. I, was all, I wasn't even trying right there. I was just going from right to left. From the top of the dungeon? Hold on, is it, uh... Maybe from, like, right here? I don't know, maybe. Hold on, let's just go left. And let's double jump. How'd I do that? And now I'm gliding. Mmm, man, I'm so close! What if I just do this? And we double jump a little bit. Ah, man, I, don't, I might be able to do it from, like, right here. Hold on, hold on. I think, I think we have it, you guys. And then we'll double jump at the very top, and... Boom! We did it! Okay. Whew, there's even gold ore in there. What? How did that get there? Unless that's some other type of ore. It probably is, to be quite honest. Nice, kill those slimes. What's the side of this? Arcane Lucky Horseshoe. Ooh. Negates fall. I'm like, eh, we already have fall damage negated with the wings, right? So we don't need that garbage. Mining potion. Increase mining speed. Meh. Mining speed's already pretty good as is. Guess I'll loot everything else and I'll take the heckin' chest. There you go. And I'll take the chairs and the table. And the banners and stuff. There you go. Sky Gravity banner. World banner. What's this banner? Uh, another world banner. Okay, nothing too crazy there, I suppose. All right. Well, I guess I think we've explored all the cities over here, huh? Hmm. I think. Yeah. We, yeah. We've been there. I was wondering because it was like really dark. And I think we've been here before already. Yeah. Yeah. Because we went went from there and then we went there, and of course we went through the one above our head or above our base. That is. Yeah. I think I think we're fine as is. I don't think I don't think we need to uh explore anymore. I think we've explored all of them, which is good. But I thought we'd find better loot. I thought it was going to be something a little bit different, but I guess not, huh? Well, either way, I suppose we'll go. Oh, whoa, what's this thing? Oh, I think that's like a wing. Yeah, it's a wing of that crater. Uh, I think that's gold ore right there, but I get. Oh, can I get the cloud? I don't know if I ever tried it, but I guess I'll try and get the cloud blocks. Try and go down. As well as try and see if this is gold or not. Yeah, it's straight up gold. Can I get the cloud? I I, I'm getting actual literal cloud blocks right now. What? <laughs> I'm like, that's kind of impressive, to be quite honest. I guess I'll grab some more cloud. Maybe I'll make my house out of clouds or something stupid. <laughs> I'm literally mining clouds right now. What? What are we? Can, is it a material? It is. Ooh. I guess we're going to have to talk to Colin about it and see what he has to say about the cloud block. He's probably going to be like, "What in the world? How did you get an actual block of cloud?" <laughs> Let's just grab. Uh, how much do we, we have? A hundred. Geez. Yeah, we have a pretty good amount. And if we want to get more, then hey, just go right, like right above our house. Which uh, I don't know if we're able to. Re oh man, I could have hit the harpies with the uh, Medusa head right there, probably. But whatever. Yeah, we might be able to reach our house. Using the double. Didn't we tr just try that? I think we did. I don't know. Well, let's do it like this. And we could double jump. Oh, yeah, yeah, Look at that. I think we were able to do it without the without the uh, the balloon. Perhaps. I don't know. Without the balloon and the uh, the double jump in there? I have no idea. Either way. Hold on. Here we go. Here we go. 
Test this out on the harpy thing. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, look at that. Did, did, did some good damage right there. Not bad. I'm going to keep the Medusa head. It does seem pretty heckin' powerful. I want to see how powerful it is against, like, maybe, like, a boss or something like that. You know, kill its minions. Like, yeah, the Wall of Flesh has minions. The Baran Cthulhu has minions. The Eye Cthulhu has minions, of course. Hmm. Definitely want to keep that in mind. Either way, let's put up all this trash real quick. And slush blocks, cloud blocks. Let's go talk to Colin about the cloud blocks. It's going to be like, what in the world? How did you get those? <laughs> Snow clouds, rain clouds, cloud wall. Pfft. I'm like, well, we saw that up there, you know, the cloud background. We place prevents fall damage. Oh, these all, these just straight up prevent fall. Oh, I didn't read that. Yeah, just prevent. I guess you could just put this at the bottom of anywhere and then you could fall on top of it and not have to worry about fall damage. So, you know, you, I guess you could build a hecavator. That's like a one way hecavator. <laughs> you just fall down it, let gravity take its course. And then, hey, there you go. Boom. But I guess I'm like, we already have wings, so that doesn't make sense, right? So, at least for right now. Oh, yeah, what about the uh, lucky sh uh, horseshoe? What can we possibly, like, combine that together to get? White horseshoe balloon. Oh, we can combine it together with our current thing. Oh, but it negates fall damage. We don't really care about the Pequenos. Mm, is there anything else right now? Obsidian horseshoe grants immunity to fire blocks and negates fall damage. Interesting, but once again, pff, don't really care, honestly. Let's you double jump. Uh, increase the jump height and negates fall damage. I, I guess we could combine it together, but like, we already have the fall damage thing, and we already... I don't know. Maybe I'll just keep it. Like, I could combine it together right now with our, uh... Is that it right there? No, it's a cloud... Wait, cloud in a balloon. <laughs> oh yeah, there was like a cloud in a bottle or something like that you could use, huh? Yeah. I don't think you can do it with the, uh, the ice balloon that we have right now, though, so that sucks. But I guess I could put it up in the accessories. There, yep. And then a minecart try. I don't know what to do with that. Slush block? I, I think that's from the cloud, perhaps? I don't know. Let's go over here and put up the gold ore. There you go, nice. And then bombs, I, I'm, I'm like, I'm pretty much just selling those. I guess I'll put up the, uh, I'll, I'll keep the cloud blocks. Hammer end piece, I don't know, maybe I'll sell that. Oh yeah, so, yeah, we got a lot of silt. I guess I'll throw that through the extractinator. Let's see what we're going to get out of that. A little bit over 100 silt right there, let's see. Uh, looks like you got three amber, a diamond, six gold ore, six iron ore. I don't know how much money we had, but we had, uh, we have 45 copper, 21 silver now. 9 tin ore, 6 tungsten ore, an emerald, 7 lead ore, 10 copper ore, 8 plat yeah, platinum ore, and 6 silver ore. So, yeah, once again, I'm like, silt is just like nothing now. I'm like, it doesn't really give us like anything, to be quite honest. So, I don't think I want to waste my time. <laughs> so, I suppose, uh, I, I guess we can keep the balloon. I'm like, I'm not too crazy about it, but like, at least we jump up a little bit higher and we, we have the double jump now. So, hey, might as well keep it, right? 1% movement speed. If anything, maybe I'll go talk to, uh, Nudar. Is that his name? It is. Hey, I remembered it for once. <laughs> Let's see what he has. Uh, five, yeah, sure. Why not? How much should we have? Uh, one platinum and 49 gold. Sure. Fleeting. 2% movement speed. Let's do another one for six gold. Jagged for another 1%. <sighs> I'll do one more. Precise. 2% critical strike chance. Uh, I'll take it. I'm not too crazy about it, but I'll take it. 